name is Reza Mawarni and here I'm going to explain about the relationships between language, thought, and culture. Talking about language, thought, and culture, usually people will be questioning about does the language we speak determine the way we think? Interesting, right? But before we go through the question, let's talk about the definition of language, thought, and culture first. Language is a tool used by humans to show the expression and convey the thoughts, which means language is a media and the result of human thought that is used to communicate. Meanwhile, Thought is the result of assessment and understanding of something. And culture is a habit that often occurs based on thinking. The fact is, the language we speak determines the way we think, as the famous linguistic relativity hypothesis, which is known as Warfian hypothesis, exposed that language influences one's thoughts because of the cultural differences. It means language, thoughts, and culture are related to one another. Since grammar varies from language to language, most likely that habitual patterns of thinking differ from language to language. If so, the world a speaker's view of a particular language will be different from the world view speakers of different languages. The grammatical categories of singular and plural are important ones in English grammar, so important that they are expressed redundantly, like the example of the video, one boy goes outside, which is singular, and two boys go outside, which is plural. Plurality in these examples is reiterated by the use of a number word, noun suffix, and a specific verbal form. Singular and plural are categories that can hardly be ignored. A speaker of English finds it natural to divide the universe into things that are either singular or plural. To a speaker of Taos, an American Indian language, however, this view would represent a gross oversimplification. The Taos Indian sees the world differently from a native speaker of English. It is because the grammatical categories of singular and plural are important in English grammar, while in the Taos linguistic universe, there is no such simple distinction. Thus, the Taos Indian classifies the objects in their universe differently from a native speaker of English. In conclusion, thought is used to process all the information we get and information we want to see, while language can be interpreted as the human vocal system that is used as a tool to think and understand the other's thoughts, while the culture reflects the attitude and the thoughts of community itself. They related each other because language is a reflection of the culture and the thinking identity of its speakers. Language and culture are related to one another because when we learn the language, we will automatically learn the culture as well. And language and thought are related to one another because through language, we can express our thoughts. Also, the culture is formed from the result of our thoughts and express through language. After explaining the language, thoughts, and culture, I hope this video will be helpful for us to learn together. Thank you for watching and have a nice day!